Hey, what's up guys? This is Tariel Sultan. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use OBS to turn square webcam like this into something more prettier that has a shadow attached to it. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for future content. Without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, if you don't have OBS yet, you will find the link in the description. Go ahead and find it, click on it, download it and install it to your machine. Fire up your OBS and click on add. We want to add a new scene. So I named this new scene Round Webcam YouTube. Right now, I'm going to introduce a new source. Click on display capture. This is going to display one of my monitors. This is my monitor window. And now I'm going to insert one more item. This time is going to be video capture device. And that is my webcam. Okay, I'm using a 27 inch iMac Pro. So this is 1080 display. What you're going to do now is that in the description, you're going to find another link. And I want you to click on that link and download this zip file and unzip it. There are two images in this folder. One of them is called OBS webcam circle. This is just a pure black circle. And the other one is called OBS webcam circle shadow that has this beautiful already pre-made shadow to it. What you want to do is you want to save this folder somewhere safe in your machine that you're not going to one day accidentally uh, delete that folder. Otherwise, it won't be able to load this. Okay, click on this video capture. By the way, you can rename this to webcam. In my case, let's just quickly rename this uh, webcam. So that's my webcam. What do you want to do? Right click on it, click on filters or it's right here. And now what you want to do is you want to click on plus. We want to add an image mask blend. OK, this is the main item you want to do. Just give it a name, call it round. And now what we want to do is it's going to say, OK, path. Where is the path of this file? Click on browser and locate that specific folder you just downloaded and saved safely. And then you want to click on the first image, which is webcam circle. Don't open the shadow yet. I'll show you that's the next step. But just for this step, you only want to select the shadow. Click on open. It's kind of weird, right? There's a gray box here and a white box here. Don't worry about it. Just click on type and click come to the second option says alpha channel. And now our square image has beautifully turned to round. However, we're not done yet. So everything else is as default. Everything is as is. And what I'm going to do is close on this. Now our boring square webcam has turned to a round one. Now what we're going to do is we want to click on plus one more time. This time you want to add an image instead. Click on that. It's going to say, what is the name? I'm going to name this uh, round shadow and click on OK. It's going to ask you where is the location of this image. Click on browse. Remember earlier we have the second file here. It says shadow.png. Click on that open. And now we just load it. Click on OK. We just loaded this beautiful shadow. So the little trick here is simply you want to put this black round that has a shadow right below the webcam. OK, so this way, when you put it behind it, you can kind of adjust the size of it just to fit right close to this round. So let's just quickly shrink it a little bit, adjust the size a little bit. OK, a little bit more on this side. Let the black barely show and hide right behind that image. So now that's it. What you want to do now at this point is you want to click on round shadow, hold shift, click on webcam. As you can see, we selected both items, right? Right click on it. You want to group selected items. And now let's name this a group. Call this uh, round webcam plus shadow. So that is my entire folder. So these two items right now are sitting in my folder. The reason I want to put it in the folder is because now if I move one around, I can move the other one too the shadow and the round together. And you can adjust the size and the position. You can let it sit in different corners as you wish. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy this video and turn your boring square webcam into a round with a shadow. If you enjoyed this video, give the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future content. By the way, I will link a couple more videos just right on the side. Go ahead and watch them and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Tariel Sultan. Take care, guys.